Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome back to my art neck. Um, so today we are going to be doing a junk journal. If you'd like to check me out on my Etsy page, see what I have in there for sale, or if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, that would be wonderful. So I'm going to be throwing down a couple pieces of this map. I got from a awesome store here in Kansas City, and if you're local, I suggest checking it out. Um, it's called Scraps. It's amazing. It's kind of like a thrift store, but it's more um, directed towards artistic people, so it has a bunch of art supplies. It's amazing. Please go check it out. Not, um, you know, sponsored by Scraps, but I would love to be. <laughs> Um, so I'm also throwing down some uh, scrapbooking paper and some uh, music paper that I got from Scraps. Um, the scrapbook paper you saw probably in my haul video if you watched it and I will definitely be adding a link to that haul video here if you'd like to check it out. Um, uh, I got that paper from Joann's along with this lovely tissue type paper. Um, I believe it's called Collage Paper by Tim Holtz. I absolutely love it. It's very, um, it's transparent, but it's very sturdy trans uh, tissue paper. And um, before I put that down, I decided at the last second, ooh, washi tape. I love washi tape. Let's add some washi tape to it, which is also from said haul video. I got new supplies. I couldn't help but want to play with them, so I threw a bunch of them into this video. Um, so I'm throwing down some of that new washi tape with some of my old washi tape just to kind of give it a fun feel. Got some flowers and some birds, which just look nice together. So we're just putting that down and then we're going to throw that Tim Holtz collage paper right on top. So put some of that collage paper down here at the bottom and I'm also going to throw some up top. They are two different types of collage paper. Um, one is like flowers, and the other one's going to be more like bottle, um, excuse me, <laughs> bugs and beetles. And um, they look really nice together. The only problem is you won't see me throw down the bugs and beetles because here in a couple seconds, my camera's going to cut out. Unfortunately, my battery just decides to quit on me, so. Here we go, wait for the countdown, and camera dies. But here we are, we're back, and boom, butterfly and beetle just happened to join the party. Um, this is some Liquitex uh, gesso, it's clear. Um, I'm putting it down as a coat just to protect the paper. Um, it's just gonna give it a little extra oomph because of what we're gonna be putting on top of this for the color. We're not gonna be using our usual spray inks. We're gonna be using alcohol inks. Now, I know that's against the rules, but I don't care. I don't always follow the rules. Uh, I ended up using about three coats of that clear gesso just to kind of give it an extra layer of protection. And my little spray bottle that I got from Tim Holtz isn't exactly cooperating here. And so I'm switching over to another spray bottle of alcohol I have. And um, then I'm just kind of dropping the alcohol inks wherever I feel that they look like they should go. If you try this, just let, just give me a heads up. You know, they kind of act like an oil, like oil on the page. They go in like globs. They go in like streams. Like they don't kind of run like water. They're very weird, it, but they're beautiful. They leave um, streaks of color on the page. It's really cool how they react with the actual paper and not like the paper, I think it's called. Yuppie paper. I don't know how to say it. I've never used it, but I have some up there in the top, like a different brand that we're going to try because I've never tried it. So we're going to try it in another video for fun. Why not? It's fun to try things we've never done before. But here, this one is just regular book paper and it looks amazing. I love it because it just kind of like seeks seeps into the paper and gives you like this aged effect because you get all these different layers from how many times it's rolled across the paper. It's so neat. It's so fun. And I can't, I, you keep seeing me blow, like dry it with my heat gun there. It's because like I won't, oh, I hit my microphone. I hope that didn't 
mess up the audio too much. <laughs> but I keep heating it because I want to keep moving those alcohol inks around. And sometimes just tilting the book isn't quite enough. So, And I'm layering on different colors of black and like yellowy orange and a green. Um, I do have two shades of black. One of them is more of like a gray and one's a deeper, like more charcoal black. Um, I will add them in details below if I can find them. Um, there is a screenshot at the end of the ones I used. Um, so hopefully you guys will try this out and let me know what you guys think. I think this turned out super fun. This page, I had trouble getting it to roll from the left side of the book to the right side of the book. Or I guess if you guys were looking at it from your side, it would be right side to the left side. Either way, it didn't want to roll all the way across the book. So I had to go over there and then add it on myself. So that's what I'm doing here. We're just gonna, we're gonna get it there because that's where I want it. And you just have to keep adding more alcohol on there because I don't know if you know this about alcohol, but it dissolves pretty fast. And one thing that it, the alcohol does do with that gesso is it makes it kind of gummy and kind of tacky. But if you, dr if you dry it with your heat gun, it'll go right back to normal. It'll be fine. Just dry it and it'll be A-OK. -okay. Don't worry about it. And you can see I kind of move it around my, with my finger a little bit. That's because it's really slick and it's real movable and workable and you can get it to move wherever you want it to go to. So it it's way more friendly than you think it is with book pages and stuff like this. So I really hope you guys try it. It's really cool. I just did this on a whim once and I loved it. I've been doing it for a while now. I know it's against the rules of alcohol inks, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't follow rules with these art supplies. Do what you want with them. Get some cool stuff sometimes. So, I'm just trying to get this top corner to look a little bit more aged than it did before. And I'm almost, almost to that point. I just want a little bit more green and a little bit more of that yellow tinge to it. So we're almost there and I'm just going to kind of smear it around a little bit more with my finger and blow it dry a little bit more and I think then you get done. I do cut out the drying of the book at the end because you do have to dry it a fair amount with how much alcohol you put on there. Um, so just be warned you do have to take a couple minutes to dry it here. Um, and it's done. Um, the color didn't soak through the page like a hundred percent. There were a few spots, but you know what? It's a junk journal. I want it to be a little junky. Here's all the colors I use. You can see there's those two blacks I talked about. They're two different brands. But yeah, so it did see, see through a little bit, but like I said, I'm going to do a collage on those other pages. If you keep watching, maybe you'll get to see those other pages and see exactly how it soaked through. So give us a like, give us a comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more videos, and let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Later!